In this quick video, you'll learn how to replace the battery in your GMC Savannah key fob. Uh, there are two versions of this device out there. You saw them in the thumbnail and um, one of them looks just like mine, except I think most of you out there will have the version that instead of showing the picture of the car with the trunk open, it says rear 2X, meaning you hit it twice to open the rear door, the trunk. Um, and then there's another version that has, I believe, a fourth button here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, just the, the red panic button right there as well. It doesn't matter which version you have, they all take the same battery and the process to open them up is the same as well. So you can just follow along with me here and we will get a new battery in your device in under five minutes. The only thing you'll need to get it done is either a coin or a regular flathead screwdriver, your choice. I'll show you why in a second. Um, and then of course you'll need one battery and the battery that you need is a CR2032. Uh, if you don't have one of these batteries lying around, go check out the link in the description. That first link will take you over to Amazon where you can see these batteries, check the prices, everything like that, these particular batteries. And um, it's really cheap, just a couple bucks. So go give that a look and then we can jump right into it. So I'm gonna just start off using a coin. You can use whatever you have on hand, but um, really any coin will do, but a larger coin will be a little bit easier. Something like a quarter works best. So look down here on the bottom where the key ring attaches. You can see there is that big slot right there, right along the seam. Put your coin in there and just give it a twist and the device will snap open. And now we have access to that battery. Um, some of you out there can just go right in with your nail and just lift the battery right up. I can't really do that at the moment, so I'm going to use a flathead. If you use the flathead to twist this thing open, just go ahead and use the same tool. Um, if you don't have that on hand, go ahead and grab a pen or pencil, a car key, toothpick, bobby pin, really anything you have that can just fit in this indentation there's just a little you see that little dark spot right there that's a little indentation that helps us get under the battery and just to lift it out but it is super easy it doesn't take much force there we go it's that simple and now you can just dispose of your old battery take your new cr2032 and when you're putting it in you want to make sure that this positive side that has the plus sign on it is facing down so just snap that into place push it down so that it's sitting flat, positive side down. And now you can just drop the front of the device on there and squeeze it back together. And just like that, you have a new battery in your device, it should last you for several years um, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, you saved yourself some money. Remember, if you just have a dead battery, you do not need to bring these to the dealership. You can just do it yourself at home and save a couple bucks. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to let me know down in the comments or just by giving this video a like. We really appreciate your uh, all of your feedback. And if you ever need help with another one of your keys, you can come back here to this channel. We have you covered with tutorials just like this one for the key fobs for almost every make and model out there. And if you're interested, you can also check us out on our website where we have all of this information and more. And uh, that website is fobbattery.com.